I guess that's the magic prop? I know what that is. That's a zigzag box. Pretty much like the sawing and half trick, but a little different of a variation on it. Hi, guys. Welcome. How you doing? Good. How are you? Is, so this is yours? Yes, it is. So have you ever chopped anybody into three pieces? I have. I have never, ever, ever had someone offer to sell me one of these. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I reached out to the pawn shop today to see if I could sell my classic zigzag stage illusion. I bought the illusion uh, at an estate sale here in Las Vegas. Um, I've always been fascinated by that trick and always wanted one, so I had to have it. The illusion's in really great shape. It's hardly ever been used. Um, I've only used it in practice. And it's been in my house for about 10 years now, and um, I've never really performed it on stage. I've practiced with it a few times, but it's pretty much just collecting dust, and I think it's time for someone else to enjoy it. I'm hoping to get $6,000 for my zigzag illusion today. This is pretty cool. How does this thing work? Um, basically, the a girl gets in the box, head goes here, left hand goes over here, right hand here, and left foot there. The blades get inserted, and then this whole entire side of the box comes over. And the neat thing about it is that all her body parts, her feet and her hands and her face are all visible the whole time, unlike most uh, sawing a woman in half illusions. It's a really cool illusion. I know you've had to have seen this. All right, and it opens up? Yeah, you got to take the blades out first. Oh, you got to take All right. Let's go here. These latches open up, and you just grab it by the head. Can I try to get in it? Sure, go ahead. I don't think you're going to fit. Right, put your face on it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, my god, this hurts. <laughs> How... Here we go. No, 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 no. Can you let me out, please? Yeah, sure, yeah, out. I'll let you out, yeah. Whoa. When you come out, aren't you supposed to walk out and go like something like that? Yeah, I was rushing out of there. That thing is a tight squeeze. It is tight. And the center part slides over? Yes, the whole thing comes over here, and it actually locks into position over here. That far, this locks in here. Hands and feet all visible. So I guess that's why they call it the zigzag box. Yep. All right. How much do you want for this? I'd like to get six thousand dollars for it. Okay. Um, well, uh, if you're a magician here in town, you probably know Murray. Yeah, I know Murray. Let me give him a call and see what he thinks. Okay. And I'd really like to see how it works. You want me to give him a call for you? Yeah, give him a call. All right. I'll be right back. Okay. Cool. Sometimes I wish I could make Chum disappear. Hey, Murray. What's up, guys? How you doing? Pretty oh, good. Great. Oh, my God. I brought my assistant with me, Lindy. She's uh, going to help demonstrate this, because I already heard that you had the uh, one of the most famous delusions in the world, the zigzag box. The greatest thing that I loved about this illusion to this day still is you can do this illusion surrounded. So we can have people behind the trick, in front of it, above it. So can I, um, can I use this? Can I actually do the trick? Sure, go for it. Lindy, do you mind? All right. So, Lindy, I'm going to have you step inside the box. I take your shoes off first. Get her in the box like so. Wonderful. Feel pretty Fits good? so much better than I did. All right, so you ready? Yeah. All right. Well, when we close this, I'm going to have uh, put your head through the hole. OK. And then you're going to put your right hand through that hole right there, and then your left leg through the hole in the bottom right over here. All right? Cool. Comfortable? Yeah. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. There we go. You all right? Yeah. Feel good? Yeah. All right. So far, so good? Yeah. You have a blade going through your stomach. What do you mean, so far, so good? <laughs> Here we go. You ready? Do this. You all right? D that doesn't hurt. <laughs> He's still smiling, so that's good. All right. Go over here. You ready? Here's this. Here we go. Ow! <laughs> Thanks for the sound effects. I appreciate that. That's it. There we go. Excellent. How's your hand doing? Good? This is crazy. You still breathing? Yeah. And there it is, guys. What do you think? I was just in that box. <laughs> Not bad, huh? You guys, <laughs> guys want to go for lunch? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool, right? So how does it work? <laughs> Rick, it's magic. <laughs> well, should we put her back together? Yeah, let her out. Yeah. The importance of building cool illusions or props that you use in magic, you know, you're deceiving the eye, right? It's an illusion. That's why you call it an illusion. Check it out. How great wow. you look. All in one piece. <laughs> yes. So it's important the props built proper to not hurt the person inside, even though, ironically, it looks like you're cutting in somebody in half and hurting them, but you're not. So what kind of value could you put on this? So if this was actually Robert Hartman's original zigzag, which is still around, it's actually at the uh, Magic Circle in London, a really famous magic club there. 
This would be worth fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. Wow. So that was the original one that started this whole thing. Sure. Obviously it isn't. It's about 10, 15 years old. I would say this would be worth four thousand five hundred dollars. Okay, thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. it. Well, if you guys do get it, you know, I'll give you a guest spot in my show. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I didn't Take care, you guys. Thanks, Lynn. Right, See you, Mark. See you, Jeff. Good luck. You too. It's really, really interesting, but let's, let's face it, there's not a huge market for these things. True. I'll give you like 2000 for it. How about 2750 How about 2200 bucks? How about 25 How about 2200 bucks? Because it's going to sit for a long, long time. Well, I've had it a long time, and I don't really have any use for it, so I'll take the 2200 All right, sweet. All right, so get it down to the shop. I'll get you paid. Sounds good. I see a roadshow in our future. You can be my assistant. I'll be the magician. Um, no, I think I should be the magician, you the assistant. You gotta have hair like Murray to be a magician, and obviously you're just a little jealous of that.